Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here today. It's just going to bring you another install for our lovely YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be replacing this little, obviously, small screen. As you can see, quite a lot of flickering on there. Nothing to do with the system. Uh, it's just basically to do with the frames per second on my phone. So obviously, it just can't cope with the uh, the system itself. So that's why it's just flashing. So it's not an actual issue with the system. So just bear that in mind if it happens on our system later on. Uh, so we're just going to be replacing this one today with our 10.25 inch screen. This is going in an A-Class W176, which is um, uh, fits the NTG 4.5, 4.7 and even goes up to the NTG 5.0. Uh, so we're just going to crack on and next part of the video, you'll see our system in working fully and uh, showing you all the lights that it holds. Okay, give us a few moments. Guys, this is Rob from Icebox Auto here, just showing you another one of our installs, which is on a Mercedes-Benz A-Class, which is an NTD 5, 4.5, should I say. We do have them for the 4.7 and 5.0 also. Uh, just to pre-warn you guys that this has got the Audio 20 in today, so if you do have that and you find that you don't have an AUX or an AMI input, I would not uh, purchase it um, unless you come to us or you have a fitter on board who can code AUX into the car, is which is what we have to do today. Uh, but all's hunky dory so basically i'm just going to show you um how the system operates and give you a little bit of a rundown of what the system got we'll keep it short uh, this is the home page here it does now does show the original screen on there as you can see um, if you just press the touch screen we go back into the android or alternatively you can hold down the back button there and that'll take you back into there so you've got the navigation here which is google maps where you can put your own map to choice on there this is an online app so basically we'll need the data connection with a sim card or your phone uh, music this is obviously where you would play your uh, music from a usb pen this is just a demo on here it does work with the steering wheel controls so just load that down uh, let's go back this is obviously your bluetooth menu here which is obviously where you pay your phone it's got music streaming too and phone box support car info takes you to the back to the NCG menu settings, just gives you the back-end settings, just swipe across. Also, I'll just let you know, it's an 8-core processor, 464 gig of RAM. So as you can see, it's nice and responsive. Uh, no lag, just other than my finger, keep on missing the screen. Uh, HD video, you can watch your films on there if you wish. Uh, put your films into onto the USB pen, and play through there. Second uh, phone link, which is just a car play and Android Auto on this one here. Uh, it's not set at all. No, let me have a look. Yep, sorry, that was just the Android door, so we shut it up before, but we switched it off. Dashboard shows you speedometer, you can change the colours on that if you wish. Um, that one's there, that does your speed though, and your uh, revs. Uh, DVR camera not installed today, here's your back end settings here. Just installed a couple of these, all these down here are all pre-installed. These two here we've put on afterwards, but you can do whatever um, applications you wish. Uh, and there's the Play Store, so if you want to download some applications onto there, uh, as you can see, nice and clean. So I'll um, just bring it to an end today. Thanks very much. And if you've got any questions, give us a shout. Thank you.